It is time for an office upgrade. I've been using this room for about a year and I've had plans for it. And I think it's time to finally start those plans. So my dream for this room is for this wall to become my library because I have far too many books to fit on this one crappy falling over bookshelf. And what we're not gonna mention is these like really poorly patched up holes from when I had shelves and my cats jumped on the shelves and broke them off the walls with stuff on them. That was just thrilling. You know, we're off to a really good start. We've got the pretty green, we've got a bookshelf, we've got some cute lamps. Over here is my desk, another cute lamp. I even have a bay window and I have my couch looking out at the window so I can read right there. And then I keep my cat litter in this little box thing, which I feel like I need to move the litter out. I'm tired of smelling cat feces when I'm just reading. But anyway, today, the main thing is I'm going on a Target run and I want to get bookshelves to fit along this wall. I want to do like the Ikea hack, but I do do not have an Ikea anywhere close to me. So we're gonna go with Target and unfortunately, so the thing is that the Billy bookcases are six shelves and the Target ones are five shelves, but I might either add in shelves and go to Lowe's and do that whole thing, or I'll just put like decor on them. I mean, I don't have that many books yet, but I want to fill these shelves eventually. So step one is to actually measure this wall. So I need to find my tape measure and figure out how many bookshelves I need. So while I look for that, here is the before. The bookshelves are 24.5 inches. Now what? <laughs> I'm really bad at this. Um, okay, so the wall is about 12 feet 6 inches or 150 inches. The bookshelves are 24.5 inches. So I just gotta do some math. Okay, I can fit 6. So let's get our measurement up. Well, also, how tall are these things? They are 71.18. Okay, that's pretty tall. 71. So that's how tall they are. So there's obviously gonna be space above them. I wish they were a little taller, but whatever. That's about the same length as this bookshelf. I think this is above my pay grade. TikToks I'm watching, basically you like make your own built-in. And I'm like, I don't know how to do any of that. That looks complicated. Like it doesn't look that complicated, but it looks complicated enough that I already wanna give up. So, Today and until further notice, we're literally just gonna go buy six bookshelves, put them together, put them up, and see what the vibe is from there. Out of stock on the white. Oh, there's only three left of the black. Okay, I've been sitting here doing my research and I think I'm actually gonna get the ones from Walmart. They have pretty much the same ones. They're actually a tiny bit bigger as well. Good morning. <clears throat> okay, first time talking today. Shelves are here. I got six of these shelves. They're like $35 from Walmart. This was the fastest delivery that's ever like been delivered. I ordered them yesterday at like 4 p.m. Got here at 10 a.m. today. That being said, I have my work cut out for me today. I have to build all six of these. <sighs> Let's just hop right in and get it going. I'll probably listen to an audiobook while I do it and I'll try not to get confused because reading and trying to do something or like listening to a book and trying to do something at the same time, sometimes I just have no clue what's going on. I'm putting on socks because I was feeling vulnerable with y'all just staring at my dogs on the ground. All right, now we are locked and loaded. use power tools to assemble your furniture. Yeah, we'll see about that. All right, we are getting the second half on. I'll finally be able to see how big it's gonna be. I 
I got the first bookshelf done and it just took a little lunch break and I've been listening to an audiobook and it's getting really good by the way. So that's gonna motivate me to keep going because I have zero motivation. Here is the first one and I'm currently working on the second one. One left, I've done five. I did the last two kind of at the same time and that made it a little easier. So very last one. And I need to move my couch out of the way. Okay, sorry it was so loud. Last time I was talking, I have my fan like blasting. I am like dying. Uh, that bookshelf took me 25 minutes to do one. I knew exactly what I was doing, what goes where, and I did it as quick as possible. So no wonder. It's taking me so long. Well, I took a one hour lunch break. It is 4.40. So minus the lunch break, it's taking me five hours just to put these together. Yeah, cool. So now I need to move the couch, put them all against the wall, and then take a moment. <laughs> I took a little break and I'm now ready to decorate. So I did order some stuff for the outlets because the outlets just perfectly are in between these and these. So I can't even like cut a hole to get to the outlets. So I ordered an extension cord that basically goes flat against it and then I can just pull it up. I have extension cords up here for like some lights and stuff. For instance, for this lamp and some other decor that I wanna bring in here. And I went all through my house, gathered some decor and I'm ready to kind of decorate and put on books. This will be temporary and I'm nowhere near being able to fill these. This is like over the course of the next five years, I will fill these. But for now, I just wanna throw something up there so I can get the vibes and we'll go from there. My original idea was basically to put like two by fours or whatever in between all of them and then like, you know, some trim and crown molding and I would eventually have to like build up to the ceiling to make them look like true buildings. I think that is way too much work. We'll try again next year on that one, but for now, I'm just ready to decorate. I don't necessarily have a plan. I just wanted to be moody, cute, and show off my books. My only like real plan is that I'll probably have like maybe that shelf in the corner since it's blocked by the lamp will be like my Christian books and any like non-fiction books that I have or like journals that I want to throw on the shelf. Other than that, we'll just fill the shelves. I don't know the plan. <laughs> One of my lamps plugged in through an extension cord, but these lamps, this lamp, like those will be till I get my extension cord. Oh my gosh, I thought I had so many books. You would be surprised when you see booktubers or book talkers with this many shelves, if not more shelves filled, that is thousands of dollars because I have probably three, four hundred dollars worth of books and it's nothing. My, my shelves are bare. I did just buy some more books on Prime Day. So, I mean, I feel like I spent a lot of money on books and it's gonna take up not even one shelf. Like this series right here is like $150, if not more. So yeah, this will not be full anytime soon. I'll just buy books at a regular pace when I read them, when I need them. I'm not just gonna bulk buy a bunch of books just to fill my shelves so you guys will see over time how much I read essentially so my organization right now is Akatar is like one of my favorite series it's facing out Lord of the Rings it's just like the base for fantasy which I haven't even read it yet I've only seen the movies but these are my husband's favorite books so those are also facing out I've got the Grisha first all together and Ember in the Ashes series these are all my kind of like random either romance or just fiction that aren't fantasy throw a glass I wanted to like display it better but they kept falling so that is that and then we have Crescent City over here haven't read it yet I love the powerless series so I have that display in the middle of the folk of the air series um what else do we have and then down here is my nonfiction area so this shelf is all my Christian books devotional books all that and then I have like some self-help books literally 
we don't talk about it. When I tried to read self-help books, it was not, I haven't even read most of those. I've read like three chapters of each of them. Anyways, I also have some notebooks and then I have some like women's health and hormones uh, books down there as well, so nonfiction. And that's literally it. Now when I'm sitting over here reading or in the window still reading, I get this beautiful view of all my books. Just wait till there's lights and more books, it's gonna hit. We are back a few days later and my packages got here. Basically, it just goes like flat against the outlet and then I can weave them up to have my outlets up there with extension cords. So, I don't even know why I put anything on my shelves. I'm gonna have to take everything off, move my shelves, put these on. I also need to actually anchor them to the walls once I have these in place. And I'm planning on moving my other desk in here because I've been using my walking pad. Right now I just have this random desk and I have a desk that goes up and down. So I need to take all my gaming stuff off of that desk because I literally don't game anymore. And I don't know, I might just move everything into here. I don't really know the plan. All I know is I need to start with these shelves. <laughs> Since I put these shelves up though, it has been so nice. I used to never hang out in this room and ever since I got the shelves up and kind of reorganized the room, I love it in here. It's so much more cozy and it just fits the vibe. Oh, it comes with these little like adhesives for the cord. That's really nice actually. So this just goes into the wall and then this will go up the wall. So I think the first outlet it's either in between these two or those two so let me move everything off this shelf that is the outlet and as you can see it's literally in between where the shelves go so i had to figure out a solution other than cutting holes in the backs of the bookshelves yeah, i'll probably have to move this one as well perfect Trying to see if it actually works. Here we go, moment of truth. Yay! That would be so cute. I can have this hanging, I can put lamps and stuff. Love it. dramatic little crazy but we got it and then I ended up hanging this shelf which was down in my filming room in the basement which I never used so I brought it up here I don't know if I put it at an awkward height I tend to like things at like a higher height but it, I feel like it almost would have made sense here to maybe go a little lower but it's already done and I'm not redoing it so yeah actually wait it's probably good because when I put this up I wouldn't want the shelf to hit my monitor. Okay, I didn't even think about that, so thank goodness I like my shelves higher. Is it any lower? And this may have not worked when I'm standing. So now I can stand, do my walking while I edit, while I read. The only thing that I still have left to do is clean and the other desk. <laughs> if you guys recall, this brown desk does not fit in the doorways. I have to take the legs off and I've moved it in and out of a room like 10 different times and I'm so sick of doing it. I'm like tempted to just leave it here for now. So I put the desk just right up against there and put all my stuff that I read my Bible with on it and I actually kind of like it because I can still easily access the closet. I can open the door no problem and I really never go on that side of the closet anyway and I can like fully just walk in. So I'm not too worried about blocking that closet door. So I'm kind of thinking I actually might leave it in here. And then I might move all my gaming stuff down to that room that I used to film in, in my basement. And I have like a tiny little desk in there. I don't really play games, like I said. So I think it'd be fine to just kind of move it away from upstairs. <laughs> this is pretty much everything that I'll be doing in this video because I don't want to spend any more money. The only other thing that I would probably buy is maybe, obviously more books, maybe some more decor, and then a chair instead of this like weird couch situation, but that will not be anytime soon. So I think I'm ready to give you guys a finished tour. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome to my office tour. So when you first come in, obviously the first thing you see are my bookshelves. Absolutely love them. This is actually the only new thing I actually bought for this. And it literally transformed my room. This is my dream to have shelves. We have like my nonfiction section is over here. And then these are just all the books I'm in the middle of reading or have read all my favorite books. And I can't wait to just fill these over time. I eventually want to get maybe some more lights for up top and whatnot, but this is what we have so far. And then I have my ring light for when I'm filming all my little videos, my TikToks, all that stuff. And then on the window bay, we have a little seat that I can either sit on, let me show you. I can sit here, which is super cozy, open the blinds, look out, or more frequently, my cat sits here. And I usually sit right here in this corner. <laughs> I have two blankets. This one is warm, and this is actually a cooling blanket because I get really hot, so that's really nice. And then this is actually a couch, so I have to be careful because if I sit like right here, it'll all like tip over, but I can't turn it into a couch if I want. And like I said, eventually, I want to get like a little swivel chair. But then moving on over here, we have my desk, which is a standing desk, and I can put my little treadmill under here, walking pad, or I can sit down and it moves on its own. I also have this little thing which just has a bunch of crap in it and all my stuff to do my nails, which I never do them anymore, but I do paint my toenails a lot. Um, my current read is fourth wing right here, headphones, all that good stuff. I have my laptop plugged into a second monitor, and then I just installed this shelf, which honestly I feel like really tied everything together because I haven't had anything on this wall the whole last year. I've lived here, so it's nice to have something. Then we have, the last thing is this table. And obviously, my chair can just go in between. Like I said, I have to take the legs off this table to move it out of this room. So I'm just gonna leave it here as like my Bible reading table. I think that's gonna be perfect because I, I like having multiple spaces to like have different vibes. So, last thing is my closet. And it still opens perfectly fine. And I keep my walking pad right here. So when I wanna walk, I just roll it on out, plug it in under my desk and we're good to go. So that's my new office. I literally love it so much. I've been wanting to make it feel more cozy and nice in here since I moved in. And I used to never spend time in here because it just didn't feel cozy. I would only work in here, but now it has such cozy, nice vibes. So thank you guys for watching me put it together and watching my tour. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.